continues. But right now we're going to get to Eric Ross. He's been covering the possibility of uh, voter fraud in some corners. Hi, huh, Eric. Good afternoon, George. You know, if there's a silver lining out of this election is that we haven't heard of any voter fraud issues or any major issues at polls across southeast Wisconsin. Of course, that could still change because the polls, as we've mentioned, close at 8 o'clock, so there is still time for uh, stuff to go wrong. But we as reporters here are hoping everything goes off without a hitch tonight. All right. Thanks very much. It's been a, a busy but a very calm afternoon for us. Milwaukee Election Commission Executive Director Neil Albrecht says for the most part, voting has been a smooth process. We have some voters that have some pretty profound challenges around either meeting the proof of residence requirements or the photo ID requirements at um, their polling places. The city says they are working with those voters to have them cast a provisional ballot which allows their vote to count as long as they get an ID and receipt from the DMV by Friday. There were also some concerns centered around intimidation with election observers. I personally have not received one complaint about the observers and um, I think that just has a lot to do with a commitment from the political parties and back live, the only real issue we've heard of at this hour is earlier today in Waukesha County. The county clerk told me three polling locations in the town of Lisbon ran out of ballots earlier this afternoon. However, new ballots were ordered and delivered to those polling locations by 2.30. For now, that is the very latest. We are actually live downtown in Milwaukee at the Zeidler Building, where we see a steady flow of uh, voters turning up. We'll keep an eye on conditions out here, as well as all over southeast Wisconsin. I'm Eric Ross for today's TMJ4. Thanks, Eric.